Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do like a mid-year flip through of my reading journal. I am so excited. So this guy is getting pretty chunky and I love it. I do have a plan. So I have six months in this and I plan to actually take them out. I got, I got this teal and I got the silver mini. I think I'm gonna put it on the mini because I don't think it'll be big enough. I think this will be too big. So I did get a new cover from Creating & Co and that is in the mail. Um, but I might just go ahead and put the stuff on the mini disc today. We'll see, but we're gonna flip through here. We have our Creating & Co events and things and then I kind of have like a measuring cheat sheet that kind of helps if I'm ever like creating things. These dividers are from Creating & Co. Uh, it's like a downloadable file that you print it out, cut it out. I added Creating & Co washi tape to the edges just to make it a little cuter, fancy, love it, pretty. So we have January. On this page, I keep all of the books that I read by year. So it has like all the books that I read in January by year. Each month is different and I constantly change it and that's okay with me, which is why I love discs because if I hate something, I can take it out. But these are some of the challenges I was starting and uh, just books I added as I read them. I kind of made a calendar with like YouTube videos as I posted them. And this is kind of my ideas and my process for YouTube. Keeping progress of a book sometimes helps. I would do it by week and each week would have a color and then how much percent of that book I read that week. And then when I finish it, I'll just mark it off. Sometimes this is just a great motivator to help me like maybe read a book I didn't like or to kind of see how long it takes to read a book. It's just a fun way to track it sometimes. These are all the January books I read. I put the date I finished, the title, the author, and the format. These are Creating & Co format stickers. I had this one little one and I didn't want to do a whole new page. So kind of added it in right there. And then here's my reading wrap up. Um, I love how this turned out. This is great. I actually, if you've already seen the video, if not, you can go back and see it. I literally just did February through May <laughs> wrap up pages because I was having problems with my printer printing too dark. So next up is February. Here are my February reads by year. Uh, I really liked this little tracker for like my February goals. It just kind of made it look cleaner and it was fun. Again, I kind of like changed it up each time. I also keep track of all of these over on Storygraph. I adore Storygraph for their ability to do reading challenges. It makes me so happy. This was the 2021 winter reading challenge. It ended in February, which is why I put it here. I need to come up with a better idea of like how I want to do my YouTube ideas. You'll see them scattered out through here. I keep it in here because YouTube is for reading. So to me, these things go together. See, I didn't do a lot of the progress on this page. I just wasn't in the mood for it that month and that's fine. These were my books read. A lot of these are Creating & Co stickers and Sweet Kwai Design Washi with the Creating & Co format stickers. And there's my wrap up page. Next is March with my yearly. So I am going to maybe take these out and keep these together so that I can spread them out again next year. You'll kind of see like, so I have the next six months all together in one spot. So I might actually kind of keep this separate. Uh, my March goals, my books read. This was a uh, journaling card, maybe from Creating Co. I don't remember where this one was from, 
but I actually punched it and it didn't fit right. So I just trimmed it down a little more and glued it in there. It's fine. And there's my wrap up page. Oh, I forgot to, I forgot to do my format. I need to go back and do that one. My April. April was a very small month. I only read four books, but they fit in some good categories, so that was nice. I adore this so much. I love Tiana. This was from the Happy Planner Princess book. It's so pretty. Green is also one of my favorite colors. So that just made me really happy. Um, so these reading wrap-ups are double-sided. I only ever use one side because I keep them with the month instead of like all together. So normally I glue these together, but this one I had some extra space. So I used a Talk Fiction to Me from Creating & Co. But then we have May, my May goals. This is so pretty. I love the blue and purple. Oh, that turned out so good. I stressed over this one. I don't know, but I love how it turned out and June. So there are my yearly reads. I have finished filling everything out for June, so it is good. Um, I kind of just did like rereads and challenge because you know, this is my year of rereads. I didn't get around to Storm Cursed. I need to reread that in my Mercy Thompson reread. I hit off a lot of challenges, but this was just kind of my minimum of like what I wanted to read. I think I actually read 15 books in June, which was a lot for me. I haven't been reading that much lately and then summertime hit and boom, they're all there. I loved, like since I did the blue, I kind of did like the ocean themed. I tied this in together. Like I said, you know, my reading wrap ups have two sides. So I, oh, nope, too far. I pulled in this Just Keep Swimming sticker from Sweet Quiet Design and it fit almost perfectly almost perfectly. I trimmed off the top just a smidge, but it goes with the Sweet Quiet Design washi. And these were pieces from one of their subscription kits that I have. I think it's just a Just Keep Swimming kit maybe? Something like that. Super cute. This is for the summer challenge. Um, I had not gotten my sticker yet. And so I just kind of wrote notes of the different prompts and some ideas of what I wanted to read. The ones marked out, I have already read and kind of marked off. I have a few I still need to do, but this one goes from June, July, and August. So yeah, June, July, August. So I have a good bit before I have to worry about it. This was just kind of, I was trying to I had a lot of books that I wanted to read for different reasons. Like I had started some, there were some group reads. I had an art that I need to do. So I was just jotting these down. So these are actually going to come out and will be moved to July. So this is double-sided. I'm definitely gonna keep it. I kind of need to update it because I know there's a few books that I'm in the middle of that I do want to finish that I kind of need to prioritize. This was just a little list that I was keeping track of my Kindle Unlimited books for when I was paying for it. So I read two in June. I have started back up my Kindle Unlimited and I just wanna make sure I'm using it and not paying for something I'm not using. Library books. So this one is on the back side. I read three library books in June. I didn't read any in April. I like to just kind of mark off like what month it is so I know. And this is how much money I've saved by reading library books, kind of, sort of, but that one transfers over. Books bought. I have not been keeping track of this really. Like, I mean, technically the number's there, but I had started off where I was putting like stickers and washi down and candles, and then it just got to be specifically books, and then it just got to be specifically well, not specifically TBR books, but like if I buy a book that I have read, but I want it for my collection, I didn't always add it. So I don't feel like this is accurate. And the only reason I was doing this was to cut back on my spending. And while it looks like I cut back on my spending, 
I don't know, if, I don't feel like it's really accurate. I'm gonna kind of keep dabbling with it, but it's not accurate, so I don't know if it's really worth keep doing it. Crime Junkie, so this is the podcast I listen to. I love it. I did the annual membership, so I have their whole backlist. Green is supposed to be new episodes. You get five a month. The blue is actually their other podcast, um, The Deck, which is over on Spotify. And then the purple was the backlist I was reading. Um, this is just kind of a fun way to keep up with it. I fell really behind on the backlist, so I went through and I wrote down a bunch of the like kind of titles of some of the backlist. And it's really been helping me like keep up with it. So this is, I think all of the backlist I have left, which isn't too much. And then these will be like the new episodes coming out. Again, I overthink it. I do way too much. It makes me happy. You do you. Um, random sticky notes of ideas. This jumps in. So this is all the first six months. This is what will be changing. And then this jumps into my yearly trackers. So these are all the books I've read this year by month. If it's blue, that means it's a reread. And this was my year of reread, so I'm trying to reread a lot. In May, we are up to 24 books that were rereads out of 64, so 37%. I think I kind of want to shoot for like 50%, so I'm gonna kind of keep that in mind and like try to get more rereads in, but um, June was 15 books, I have July, and I have plenty of room to grow. Here are my book covers. I guess I should write like books read or something. I don't know. I love the idea of this. I literally just updated this because I had not done it since February because printer. So I don't actually have any of the ratings in yet, which is fine. I don't know. I don't care about ratings as much. But so we have March, April, May, June. And July. Uh, my little Tetris genre looks so good. It makes me so happy. So each month is a color. Before I started this reading journal, I picked out six colors. That way I knew they would like rotate and I, I put thought into it. So we have like January, February, March, April, May, June, and then it'll be July, August, September, October, November, December. So the colors will like rotate. I'm almost worried now that this might fill up, but like, I'll think of something. I don't know. It's, I love how this looks though. So these are some arcs. This is not updated. I really need to like go through my net galley and see. A lot of these are physical that I haven't read yet that I really need to shame on me. This was a format of books read. So each month I wrote down what format it was. This is just fun to look at for me. And this is the source of books read. So where did the books come from? Was it something I owned? Did I borrow it from the library? Was it an arc from a publisher or was it gifted to me? Okay, so Into the Bookverse is creating and co's like yearly reading challenge. That's like the theme for this year. So I thought it was really nice to kind of put this card at the beginning. I did go ahead and put all my stickers here just because I was worried about losing them. Um, I only have one left on the level up challenge, which is most anticipated, which is going to be soul taken that comes out in August. Like I know it's going there. So I'm just, it's fine. This was the yearly reading challenge. Um, the only one I have left is inspired a TV show, which is interesting. I have like a couple, options i just haven't got around to them one of them being a discovery of, a discovery of witches fire and blood um i could read the next in the Rizzolian isles lots of options i just haven't i finished the spring it made me so sad i messed up and i had to switch things around and but it's pretty and then I have the summer. I went ahead and put some of the books up here because I have technically completed the prompt, but like with this one, I ended up switching stuff around. I wanted to wait until I got them all, which is why I'm kind of using that scratch paper at the beginning. 
And then I have space for the fall and winter challenges. The ABC challenge, I only have a few letters left, but they're kind of hard ones. I kind of started this like series to finish tracker and I've just kind of been adding like as I start a series or like if I read the next one in the series, like I read the next one in the Witcher series, so I added it and I read the next in the Wilds of Lindo series. So I'm just kind of adding as I go, but I also forget to add them, so. I also rarely ever finish series, so that's another problem. Source of TBR. So this is where my owned TBR books come from. And I only do own, so I don't do like Goodreads or anything like that because that constantly changes. In June, I added zero books to my TBR, which was bonkers. Well, okay, that's a slight lie because I did add one, but then I immediately read it. So it doesn't count. Um, these are from 2017 until current. I have started adding in blue audiobooks because there was a really big like audible sale that I bought a bunch of books and then there was another audible sale. And then I also have some audiobooks from the publisher. So I wanted them on here so I would know I need to read them as well. I really want to do like a mid-year unhaul and go through this and get rid of some books. And then I want to rewrite this and condense it a bit. So as for like 2022, I do keep those by month. Um, Older than the current year, I just have them all together, but just kind of shows you how many a month that I've added to my TBR. I started this list of signed editions. I, it is not complete. I only went through a few shelves and then like I've added some that I've gotten from book boxes, but I need to go through my collection. I need to just sit down and go through my collection and see which ones I have signed. But I thought it was really interesting to see what I have signed. This is my Nora Roberts reading. So I kind of want to read her backlist. I'm not like, obviously I'm not going like super hard. I did not read any new Nora Roberts this month. So I actually need to do that. But um, I did some rereads. I didn't actually read any new ones. So that hasn't changed, but I feel like it's just interesting to have, and it has like all of her books. I got this from her website and I just sized it down and printed it out. It's only single sided. So this is on her website if you'd like it. I love it. It has like the publication date and then it has like what series things it's in and whatnot. It's just nice to have. This was from 2021 and then this was like the quarter releases. I I don't care about this as much. Like it's kind of a fun idea, but then like things change, like Soul Taken is now in August and I didn't keep up with this. I won't do this again. Maybe like one page of like anticipated releases for like the year, maybe next year. I probably won't do this one again. TBR options for the states. This was fun to look at, did not. I'm still doing the states, but I don't pay attention to it in my planner. I printed out a bunch of the Audible audiobooks that I have that I still need to listen to. I did listen to Tower of Shallows, Swallow, Tower of Swallows, and Thunderhead. I have started Kings of the Wild. I need to finish it. And Fire and Blood is one I wanna listen to, so. But I've also added a ton that are not on here. This was just kind of like YouTube videos. I was keeping track of kind of like what kind of video I was making and then like ideas to move around and plan my YouTube stats. I went ahead and added July and then the end of the year just to have it ready. And these are my little YouTube achievements and some notes. Like I said, YouTube and reading kind of go together for me right now, so it's there. This is just a Happy Planner Clear Divider. I love the top tab ones, especially because this one is wider. The side tabs look more so the top tabs. This is a, it was actually a Happy Planner folder that I cut down to size, and I keep all of my 
challenge stickers and my format stickers. I have all the colors. I'm trying to use what I have in different combinations before I buy more. But I keep all of them right here. And then I had my little letter stickers for my yearly tracker and then this was for one of the challenges. These are blank papers. This is a new one I just got with a calendar. I think I wanna do this one with like my YouTube videos, kind of like I did one of the previous months where I write down what I post and like kind of get an overview of the month. And then I can also just like see what's coming. They are double-sided. So I have a plan for that. And then I have some more blank reading wrap ups. I have a little bit of dotted in here. I have some more stashed away. And then, so here are my yearly pages that I was talking about. So see, I have them all together. And I think that's what I'll do when I take the others out. I'll still keep them all together. But I have all the months. Makes me so happy. So we will kind of plan that out. I have some other blank like library books, books bought, to be read list. That's where I was picking out my colors and I left it here so I remember what colors I picked for what reason. And that is my reading journal currently. So let's see. This is gonna go out and go separate. And then this is going to go on here. I don't have the cover yet. Like I said, I don't have the cover yet, which is okay. I know my order has been shipped, so it should be here any day now. I'll post pictures of it on Instagram when I get it. If you can hear my kids in the background, I'm so sorry. Summer school is done, so they are here with me. I tried to bribe them with Xbox time to keep them quiet, but I think they're arguing over it. Who knows? So one of the downsides with this was I don't have any way to divide the months now that I have the dividers still in here. I could print out more dividers, but I'm lazy and I don't wanna to have to print them and cut them and add the washi and make them pretty and do all that. So I do have some like tab tape that I plan to use, but I also have an idea for the next six months. So on, like I have my goals page But I was thinking of having, so with this one, I had the, the calendar. I was thinking of having a, like I have a bunch of big stickers and I have a bunch of these like cards from Creating & Co. The stickers are usually from Sweet Kai Designs and they're amazing. But I was thinking I would have this and then on the back have the monthly calendar and then have my goals and go from there and then this would have like a tab on it i have i have this tape and it's uh it's called like tab tape and they're pre perforated i don't know whatever that word is they're already cut and so then they just kind of tab together and it makes like a little tab and you stick it so that's what I'm thinking of doing. So each one would have a tag. I could go ahead and tab these, but for the next six months, it would be like a divider, the monthly calendar, and then the goals. I already have like a bunch of stickers and cards picked out. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. This is so cute, look at it. Oh, I can't wait for the cover to arrive for that. Okay, so I then have my first six months 
which I think, oh, you know what? I will actually just put those on top so I know where they are. Oh, so pretty. Okay, so these are now empty. And I think what I'll do is I will go ahead and add a calendar and a wrap up to each of them. And then I might go ahead and add maybe like two dotted. Okay, so we have just July in here. And then I know we'll need a calendar I'll do two dotted and a wrap up and then of course I like to do these kind of like by month just depending on my mood um, so I don't pre-decorate these And this will just be sitting in here. And if I don't use it, I can always just slide it in the back in case I need it some other time. You know what? That's all my reading wrap ups. I keep messing up on this. So, um, the reading wrap ups come with six pages. So you have 12 wrap ups if you use both sides, but I don't use both sides. So I'm short. And then I originally used it in like October or November of last year. So I've never had the right amount. So I'm going to have to order some more, which is fine. So yeah, that's my last calendar. It, like I said, it comes with six sheets, but 12 sides. So you can either have half a year or a whole year's worth. And I'm short some dots. Okay, so that's a much more manageable size. <laughs> um, oh, and I did want to go ahead. And so with July, I have Kind of my things that like always shift around Let's see that's not gonna line up right i will say one thing you have to be careful with if you're using creating and code pages they are not the same size as the happy planner punch so this page i did the happy planner punch with and the like long part is longer. So creating and co's punch is shorter. I think that's like the arc punch. I'm not sure. It's not a big problem. It has caused some things of mine to be a little misaligned, but not a big thing. And I mostly use the creating and co pages, so. I haven't, like, that random half piece is something I punched to put in here, which isn't a big deal. But all right, so we have this set up to get started with July. I have some more thinking of how I want to do this. So I'm not going to do it right now. I want to think about it. But I have my yearly pages. I'm so excited. This makes me so happy. Okay. And then this one will kind of be for storage. I'll have this on my bookshelf once I get the cover on it. Yeah, that's what I have. So tell me what you think. Do you have a reading journal? Do you have one way you do everything? Do you do a bullet journal? What do you have? If you have a video, I would love to see it. So let me know. Let me know what you think of this. Let me know if you have any questions and I will talk to you guys later. Bye y'all.